Well, I think we had an extremely good uh, session with a, a set of complementary points of view, including from the private sector, uh, Ed Clark of uh, Toronto, Toronto Dominion and, and then Axel Leonhofer and Joe Stiglitz and me. And uh, what I was trying to say was, you know, the fundamental issue is why is the financial system uh, so big and is it actually delivering a value in return uh, for the size that it is? And I think we have to divide that into two uh, main issues. One. Does it do a whole load of things which we just don't need it to do, but somehow it's charging us for them? Is there a, a rent extraction? Is there a value for money issue? And I think there is. I think there's a system which has the ability to generate activities within itself for which the rest of society has to pay, but which are not adding value to the fundamental process of allocating capital in the economy. But a point I made is, although that's important, it's not as important as the issues of stability. Why did we have the crash of 2008 and the subsequent recession, uh, and which is what has really caused the very big uh, decreases in uh, welfare and in income which have occurred. And there, I think the core of it has to do with the credit cycle. It has to do with the fact that trying to control money and credit through simply hitting a low and stable rate of inflation will not work. Uh, there is something about the process of credit where we can have credit that grows, particularly when it's credit against uh, existing real estate. It can grow and grow and create a crisis without that ever in advance showing up as a higher rate of inflation to which a central bank has to respond. And that was the core of my message, that we've really got to concentrate on that as the most important issue uh, relating to whether the financial system is actually serving uh, the interests of the wider society.